And I turned to answer the question that people had asked me so often, how did you do that? How did you do those things? Can you tell us a bit about you and the journey that you've had as a business owner? You know, I never thought I would be a business person. I thought I would be married, have children, live in my small town in Western Pennsylvania and have a beautiful life, you know, a domestic life. Unfortunately, both my husband and my mother were diagnosed when they were both very young and I was only 25, but they were both diagnosed with different forms of cancers, both passed. And that all happened within the short span of less than one year. I was kind of left right back at the very beginning of, okay, where do I go now? And what do I do now? Even though there were well-meaning, caring people in my small town, I was still known as the young widow. That's a heavy burden to come out from underneath. So the plan had been that my husband would, would finish college first and then I would go. Well, he was three credits away from graduating from college when he passed away. Now it's my turn. I don't have the money to pay for college and I need to work to pay my bills. So I knew that in California, if you established residency, you could go to a state college. So I took one big step and I moved from small town, Pennsylvania to Southern California where I didn't know anybody. And what I can look back at now, and I'll tell you the end story, I never did go to college, but that was what got me there. That was my intention that was set. That was the clarity that I had that was my next step. And looking backwards, I realize now I'm really good at spotting opportunities and taking action because I was in the right place at the right time when the microcomputer, yep, they used to be called microcomputers because they were different than the big mainframes. But I started selling microcomputers just before the IBM PC was released. So I was perfectly positioned to be in a unique place that nobody, else, especially a woman, uh, would had, had didn't have a place in that industry. And I did extremely well, so much so that AT&T recruited me to head up their national data sales organization. Now I can tell you that that chip that had been on my shoulder that had never gone to college completely got kicked right off because I came in at executive level. But what all the people who knew me said, we understand why you're taking this job, but you are an entrepreneur and you're gonna get your wings clipped in that environment. And that's exactly what happened. So I left and guess what? Even though my prior employer had said, you always have a job with us. I went off and I did something entirely new once again. I started a bakery cafe, even though I'd never even worked in a restaurant environment. Well, that bakery cafe chain turned into five locations in two years, wildly successful, but I was working almost 24 seven. Shorten the story to just say that I downsized, had one working, good, profitable location. And now I had time on my hands. And I turned to answer the question that people had asked me so often, how did you do that? How did you do those things? And I didn't really have an answer, but I thought, okay, I'll start writing. People said, oh, you should write a book. Well, people like me didn't write books back then. It was, a, you need to be a celebrity or, you know, high in, in a position in a company. People like me didn't write books back then. But anyway, I started exercising the muscle. And while it didn't take form the way that I thought it would, what came out very fluidly in a particular day and time, what you know, because you have a copy of it, is my gift book, The Land of I Can. It's only 52 pages but it moves people through the different stages of life, getting them unstuck. And that was the pivotal piece that got me into the work where I am today because other people said, other authors or people who wanted to write a book, how did you do that? And again, looking in hindsight, I realized it's because I had that one golden idea to give people a sense of hope that they could and then give them a path to move them through the different lands of life.